This is going to be a quick video. A few of my viewers wanted to see this bag sealer in operation using vacuum to seal the bag. I have my Robin Air single stage vacuum pump. That's the same vacuum pump that's used in my homemade dental retainer and whitening tray video as well as other vacuum forming videos. I'll be posting links to those videos in the video description area. You're definitely going to want to check those out. I have a few feet of vacuum line coming off of the vacuum pump. Inside is a K&S metal tubing. This is a 1 8 inch ID tube. First thing I'm going to do, preheat the unit. For the demo inside this Mylar bag is just going to be this little bottle. We're going to vacuum seal that inside the bag. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is seal off 90% of the bag, leaving just one corner open. So we push it inside here. Go like that and push down. See it's sealed all the way across, leaving just that corner open. Next step is going to be to insert about a half of an inch of this tubing inside the bag, and then I'm going to be sealing another line in front of the tubing at another angle. There you have it. Nice and tight. You can even see the label. You can even see how tight it is. The label on the bottle is conforming to the foil. And the lines on the cap. There you go. For this demo, what I'm going to be doing is taking this little pouch that I sealed and made that end out of a big bag. And I'm going to be taking these okra seeds, pouring them inside this pouch. Like this. For long term storage, get them all the way to the bottom. Alright. Once the seeds are placed in the pouch, I'm going to take this drywall mesh tape, it's fiberglass, insert it into the bag about an inch below the top. The purpose of this tape is to prevent the bag from prematurely collapsing when the vacuum pump is turned on. This will allow the vacuum to be drawn from the bottom out the top. You can see it down in the bag. Make sure it's down about at least an inch so I have room to heat seal. First thing I'm going to do is seal off 90% of that opening at an angle, like that. Leave just a little opening here for the tube. Place it inside the sealer, turn it on, drag back just a little bit on here. Right now I can hear that it's finished, the tube is way back, and seal right there. Take that out, and we're complete. 
Look at how tight that is. You can see all the mesh. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.